Hi, my name is Matthew Lolte Hepworth, and today I'm asking a favor of all of you that are watching this video and are into status bases. Why my status graphite uh, Barracuda base sounds so mid-rangey and so radically different than a lot of the other bases that I have in my stable. And to give you a little bit of history of the Barracuda, they were made, they were first made in 1997, and they're kind of Status's answer to a jazz bass. So it has kind of an angular body, and it has uh, jazz bass pickups, and it has a dummy pickup right here for noise canceling. That makes no sound whatsoever. And then volume, volume, and an active treble, and an active bass control, and a switch that can switch that EQ in and out. Now, I love this bass. I love how it feels. I'm not sure that I'm in love with the sound, and the fact that it's made out of a really different kind of wood. It's made out of uh, Amazaka wood, which is, uh, you know, you don't, just don't hear a lot of instruments being made out of Amazaka. Uh, but the body is all Amazaka. The neck is Amazaka also, except that it has graphite reinforcement rods in it. I think there are three of them in there. And to me, the bass sounds really, really mid-rangey. It's not a bad sound. It's just so different than these other basses. So we're going to start listening with the Barracuda. Base number two will be my Status Graphite S4000, which was made in uh, 89, I believe. And it has balance, volume, and then an active EQ that's treble and bass on one knob. And just like all these other bases, including the Barracuda, I'm just going to dime all of those. Base number three is going to be my PV Dyna base with a Kaler on it. It has volume and balance and an active EQ. Again, the bass is going to be on 10, mid-range is going to be center, and the treble is going to be all the way up. Bass number four will be my Made in Japan Getty Lee Signature Jazz Bass, but I put EMG pickups in it and an EXB expander, which is treble and bass on one control, and I dime that just like all the other basses. I don't want to get into a big protracted argument or have people tell me, uh, you ruined your jazz bass. You know, that's not what this video is about. This video is just about the sound that I'm looking for and why the Barracuda is so different. All four bases are going to be going through my Neural DSP Quad Cortex, and the only things I have running are a Jewel compressor and then a gain control that just balances out the vocals, uh, my vocal channel from the bass channel. There are no preamp models, there are no speaker or amplifier models, it's just basically direct with a compressor. All the bases have brand new Rotosound swing set bass strings on them, and they all have had their 9-volt batteries replaced. Uh, the Barracuda uses one, and as you can see, it's also a bolt-on neck. Uh, and so, the reason that this sounds so different is maybe the wood... Or maybe it's just the electronics. Maybe I just don't like the electronics. But a lot of people say they love the electronics in their Barracudas. So let's take a listen to all four of these bases and let, let me get your ideas. <laughs> Thank you. 
hear how different the Barracuda sounds. I, I'm not saying it sounds bad. It just sounds radically mid-rangey to me. And that's with the treble and the bass control dimed. And so I would think that that would give me a more scooped sound. <laughs> But it's not. It still sounds really mid-rangey to me. If I defeat the EQ with a little switch down there. And re-engage it. I mean, it definitely does sound more scooped than before. But anyway, I just, I, I don't know what to do. So what do you think? Does this bass need different pickups, a different preamp, or all of the above, or am I just nuts? I don't know. What are your thoughts on that? I'm curious to see what you all have to say, and thank you in advance.